here's a pixel character right here and then um, I have him without the shading over here let's see if I can show it to you yeah I think this is it and I'm going to show you how to do something like this and I'm going to use this for a game in flash here's another version here's the final version without any shading of the um, of this pixel the pixel art for this character now this is zoomed in 600 percent so when you zoom out I'm going to zoom out to 100 percent here using control minus on my keyboard you'll see that this pixel character is going to be quite small and you can see I have different positions for the character in um, Photoshop so this is a standing position right here I'll zoom in a little bit better so you can see it a little bit easier um, this is the standing position and then this is a uh, walking position one foot up so you can see here that I just edited that and put one foot up and then here's standing um, and then they're standing and then in the flash game when you see it I'm going to be showing uh, people how to make a game like this in flash when I play this when I export my flash movie you can see that the characters walking around and you can see that I have the little pixel characters and it looks a lot like the old game uh, Robotron which was an arcade game in the um, in the 80s okay so I need to make another character so I'm gonna show you how I would do that in Photoshop now what I could do is just um, add more layers to this which I might do but instead of doing that I'll show you also all the um, the statistics for this so if I go to image canvas size you'll see and I switch this from inches to pixels you'll see that the the canvas size the size of this image of this character is going to be 15 by 25 so if I was going to start a new file for it I would just hit file new in Photoshop and I'd say I want it and I'd adjust this to pixels and I'd say 15 wide by 25 height okay uh, resolution is going to be um, 72 bits per inch and I'm gonna have it transparent so this will be a transparent background and I'll click OK and I would get um, a blank transparent uh, piece to work with and then I could zoom in let's say 600 percent that's 600 percent and I could start drawing with it like that I'll zoom in a little bit more here 700 percent and you can see here's my other character at 800 percent alright so I'll zoom this one in one more time to 800 percent alright so I want to start drawing my character and for making pixel art what you don't want is you don't want any feathered edges so what I'm gonna do is right off the bat I'm gonna grab the pencil tool not the brush tool that's the paintbrush and this is the pencil tool and I'm gonna be drawing the paint pen, using the pencil tool and I'm also going to be making sure that I'm working let's say one pixel at a time all right and once I have that set up so I've got a one pixel brush which is actually a pencil tool and then I'm going to start by picking the brightest green I can find in my swatches here I've loaded some extra swatches here I went into the swatches and I loaded the uh, web spectrum uh, which is right here into my swatches now I'm going to get the pencil tool and I'll start drawing this character I'll start drawing his chest area right here okay and that looks pretty good and if I needed I, I could go to a bigger brush if I was gonna just fill in a solid area and once again this is the pencil tool I'm using okay alright and then for the eraser tool I have a mess up right here and I need to erase this part so for the eraser tool I'm also gonna make sure that I'm in pencil mode not in brush mode the reason is if you're in brush mode you're gonna get aliased edges uh, basically feathered transparent edges and I don't want that I want the blocky pixel art look so I'm gonna go in pencil mode and I've got a one pixel brush here size one right very hard edged and that's what I'm going for I'm going for a pixel look kind of a retro look for this character alright okay and then for the head in the game this character had a tiny little head so I'll get uh, red and I'm going 
going to make the head something like something like that and I might go one bigger alright that's good and I'll use the eyedropper to pick up the screen get the pencil and color that in so there's the head and there's the body as you can see it's not um, it's not brilliant game graphics or anything like that okay and then for the legs I'm also going to use a red color so once again eyedropper tool to select that red and with the legs we'll go down like this and then out like this alright so I've got that and if I wanted to I could uh, well I could change this up some more too if I wanted to now um, for the arms I'm gonna do a white arms and that's gonna be hard to see with this transparent background checkerboard black and white checkerboard background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my layers panel if you don't have your layers window panel up just go to window and then open up layers and I'm gonna make a new layer okay I've got a new layer on top here and I'm gonna use the paint bucket and the paint bucket is here underneath the gradient tool and then I'm going to paint this new layer black and then I'll drag the layer I just clicked with the paint bucket on this new layer to make it black and then I'm gonna drag it underneath so that I have a back black background so when I start working with white it'll be easier to see so now I'll flip the color chips to white get the pencil and I'm gonna start um, painting the arms for this character now this is kind of a character from the that's gonna remind you of kinda of like this old giant type robot character so it'll be something like this alright I went a little bit lower here so I'm trying to do the same thing on either side and make the character um, symmetrical if if at all possible um, and then I'll talk to you about why um, you want it's better to have a symmetrical purely sy symmetrical character the reason is then in the game in flash for instance you could flip the character and you wouldn't have any problems now I have made one mistake here and that is if you look here I've drawn the arms on this black background layer which is not what I intended I wanted to draw these white arms on layer one where the character is so I've got a problem there so I messed that up. I drew my white arms on my black background layer instead of on the layer one where I needed to draw them. So I'm going to try to do that again. I'm going to switch here, flip to white, get the pencil tool here, and we'll try to do that one more time. All right, there go the arms. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, so I'm going to use the selection tool, zero feather on the pixels. I've got the marquee selection tool here, rectangular, and I've got feather set to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole thing, and then I'm going to get the um, select tool, and I'm going to use the arrows on the keyboard to move him down two pixels. All right, select, deselect. All right, and now there is my character. Now what I might want to do is if I wanted to make him a little bit taller, I'll make another selection here on the head area, get the select tool, and then use the arrows to move it up one. I'll get the pencil tool here and add a little height to the character alright that looks pretty good so now I have the first um, standing position for my character